Hey, Crowd Vibers. I've got a fun one for you. Welcome back to the Crowd Vibes. This is Season Zero, Episode 6.8, and we're wrapping up the 2023 Best Album of the Year series. I'm Jason Hibbets. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I did it. I reviewed seven of my favorite albums from 2023, and I know I probably missed some of your favorites, so I wanted to throw out a couple of honorable mentions of other uh, albums that we've been listening to uh, here at our house. And in our family. Uh, these honorable mentions are in alphabetical order by album name. Butter by Cashed Out. Noon by Surfer Girl. One More Time by Blink-182. Pleasure Point by The Expendables. And I think they also have a Sugar Shack session that came out. Say that five times faster. Uh, and last but not least of the honorable mentions... Uh, Slum Beach Posse Volume 1 by Denim and a bunch of his fun cohorts making some really cool music. So there's so much new music coming out. It's really, it's overwhelming sometimes and it's hard to keep track of. So what are some other albums that you all were digging on this year in 2023? Chime in in the comments. I'd love to hear what's been uh, spinning on your uh, LPs or streaming in your cars. All right. So uh, it's time for the top five albums of 2023. A reminder about my criteria. Number one, I've got a, I like to listen to the album front to back to hear the, if there's a story arc and how the songs flow together. Number two, it's got to have some great collaborations with other artists. And number three, it's got to be great for a road trip, uh, so it has to have some good sing-alongs and uh, not too many lulls in the album. So, to be fair to the artists with new albums in 2023, I'm not going to consider the deluxe albums from Always With Me by The Movement and Midnight Control by Dirty Heads in the top five selection. So they are, they're great albums. Uh, I enjoyed the new music that was on them. Uh, I love the, the deluxe editions. I encourage you to go check them out. Uh, and there's no question that songs from those albums uh, dominated some of our music. Um, but they're not going to be part of the top five this year. With that said, number five. Echo Mountain High by Long Beach Dub All-Stars. This is the ultimate chill at the pool, beach, lake, couch, campfire kind of album. Front to back. We love it. Really cool chill vibe. Number four, Celebration, Common Kings. Another solid album from the Island Boys with some great collaborations. Number three, Day Trippin' by Iteration. This album has a chill vibe. Uh, it's almost every song makes you feel like you're at a beach or at a party or um, just kind of gives you the, those good vibes. So that leaves two albums left. And those are Endless Summer by The Elevators and Shell Shock by Ballyhoo. I've gone back and forth. I would listen, I listen to each album every day. I would switch the order and do it again the next day. Both albums have a really great story arc. Both albums have different emotional uh, outlets for me. My 2023 would not have been complete without each of these albums, and here's why. Shell Shock helped me deal with my emotions, and Endless Summer set me free. So my top albums of 2023 are Endless Summer by The Elevators, and Shell Shock by Ballyhoo. I know you can't have two number ones because that makes 11, but I love all my children the same. I had a really fun time putting this together. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you like the crowd vibes, hit the like button, share your favorite videos, and subscribe to get alerts for new stuff. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.